Morning, folks. It's around 6.45 in the morning here. I've been up for a while. The alarm goes off at 4.30. <laughs> but uh, I normally have a cup of coffee and get on the computer if I've got time and do a few things. Then, uh, yeah, a bit of breakfast, maybe about 7 to 8. Do more work. It's hot here, you know, like... Um, after about lunchtime, if it gets too hot, I just stay in the house and, you know, for a rest maybe or sleep. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about my work habits. I'm talking about Moringa. <gasps> yeah. Oh, here the good ones are. Yeah, so I've got two here, two boxes. And they're looking pretty darn good. They're not quite a month old yet. Uh... Yeah, about 25 days they've been in in the bags. Uh, no, it'll be 24, ba 24 days. So they're looking pretty good. I've got a few others over here. They, they look pretty good too. Um, I know, they know, to me, I mean, I look at the first lot I showed you, the two boxes, and they just look that slight bit better. But it could be just me, I don't know. I've had a few failures. Uh, there's a couple there that didn't do so well. Uh, 41 I've got that are good. Not not these two. They're out of it. Um, they're not in the count. And this one here is not in the count. But that one there wasn't... It was yellow here. It wasn't looking all that great. But that's in the 41. And Forrest Gump here. He was uh, the last one out. And I'm talking by a good margin. That's like... I don't know, maybe eight or ten days before he come out of the ground and started growing. Not looking all that great still, but hopefully he'll be all right. He's the slow one. Um, yeah, the rest of them are pretty good. I did have some yellowy ones in there, but I pulled them out. They just weren't going to be any good. Uh, put some grossless tomato seeds in there. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll grow. There was a bit of dew on the on the ground this morning uh, as you, you might not be able to tell but that's kind of like damp uh, this is my wife's motorbike uh, trailer that kind of qualifies I guess as a trailer before I put the um, the pin in so she could hook it up to the back of the motorbike which her motorbike's got a, a little receiver on it um, she used to just ride it with her in the middle here and this bar up against her stomach. So I thought that doesn't seem smart to me. If you have an accident, you're going to be in a whole lot more trouble than you would be normally. So I changed that. Uh, yeah, so I've also got a greenhouse which I'm, uh, I'm working on. It's still pieces at the moment. You know, organic, organic bananas. More tomatoes, grossless. One of my old favourites from when I was a kid. Yeah, so these these pieces here, which are in the process of being painted, um, they're the uprights. They're the uprights for the for the greenhouse. These brackets here are for the timber to be uh, bolted on or screwed on down down low. And I've got 12 to do. The greenhouse is 6 by 10 metres. So, yeah, I'm kind of hoping I'll get three done a day over the next four days. But with the painting, mm, the paint seems to be taking a long time to dry. The reason why I wanted to paint was it's just the environment in a greenhouse is going to be a lot more moister than out here in the open especially especially during the rainy season the cool cool time uh, we're in now like it's uh, basically the end of november or early december through to mid late january you know we have uh, mornings working Sometimes it's got down to 10 degrees, which is damn cold for here. Uh, yeah, so that's a work in progress. The, uh, the uprights are 
all been done just haven't painted them yet I uh, I will paint them the same color just to give them that a bit extra protection and I've got some little brackets I made 30 little brackets which are like steel loops to rivet on well when we decide you know exactly where they got to go I thought you know like we can uh, we can rivet them on pretty easy and we don't even have to do it till after the greenhouse is built if we want with the little uh, rings will allow our steel tubes to go through so we can put our tie wire down uh, we can run maybe some electrical conduit if we uh, if we need to add a third fan I've got two fans on the one wall which will be the east wall or oh, I mean I will have two fans I haven't got them yet yeah so that's it for today a uh, little update on what's happening and what's been growing so all you folks have a good day and I'll catch up with you again